Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Dominion Online. Uh, what do we have in the kingdom here? Ooh, a marquee. Six bucks, one buy, one card per, ten in hand, per card in hand, but discard down to ten. Okay, so it's a, a lot of draw. Every, oh, what's a patron again? A villager and two coins. And if for some reason you reveal this, you get coffers. And it just gets... Fuck this. God, this thing sucks. Okay. Something that causes you to reveal it during an action phase. So what's the plan here? I mean, I don't know what you want to armory. I guess Caravan Guard and Mill are fine to have a lot of. But, like, what's the plan for the deck? Patron adds villagers. But that mostly just makes it, like, a non-terminal. Except if you play it at the end of your... If you play it as your last action, you get to save a villager for later. So, there's really no actions. No, uh, no villages. I don't know. Like, I kind of want to just play silver money into, like, Wild Hunt or something. To draw, get this stuff. Some kind of stupid treasure deck. But I play those too often and just end up losing <laughs> uh, when an opponent sees something better going on. I think a patron to save villagers is fine because it lets you like in this early game when you don't have any other actions to play you save up villagers for later and then you can maybe get multiple draws off of this stuff but I think we want mostly money A nice marquee. Did he give buys? No, right? Oh, he does. Nice. Spices silver, maybe? I don't think we want a province yet. Wild Hunt is okay, but nothing to write home about. I don't know. I should just not engage with this person, right? Yet here I am. And I think after this, probably just like gold. I'll want more draw eventually, but I don't have to have it now. Gains a marquee. Okay. Um, I don't really want to spend my villager to play this marquee. I'm happy enough to just buy a gold, I think. 
I don't want all this missing the shuffle, both marquees. I could probably buy a lot, but doesn't seem necessary. It does matter the order here. You need to play the marquee first so that you get draw for having the patron in hand. I was just thinking, gosh, you know, opponent bought one mill and hasn't really done anything with it. They must feel silly for buying that mill. And now here they are, they want another, I guess. Eleven bucks is a pretty good province silver, I think. I could have spent a coffers to gain a patron instead. I don't really want to. For reasons like this, here's a perfect $7 hand, which is usually garbage in Dominion. And I'm still not happy about it, but I have a coffers to upgrade it to 8, which is a big improvement. I mean, I don't know. Maybe the like whole patron marquee thing is going to generate... I don't know. That doesn't actually seem like much of a combo, right? There, there's very, It's very difficult to produce excess villagers. You can produce at most one villager per turn, right? You can net one villager per turn. So you can't really like play a million marquees. I do still have a villager, right? Yeah, so I mean Hopefully I don't have to spend it here, but it's nice to know that I have that option. Silver? Probably. Patron, it might be nice to have a second now. The like the really rude answer to why it's so long to play each turn is like because I don't want to just buy shitty cards just because they happen to match the amount I have, which I guess must be your plan if you don't ever want to think. It does feel a bit like hmm, they're they're getting a a, a fourteen dollar turn and then I'm skipping my turn, so you know maybe my deck's not that hot. Uh, what do we do here? Gold? Marquee? Probably gold's okay. You could get spices. Actually, spices is probably better. Right? Because it acts like silver, but it comes with two coffers, and those coffers matter a lot right now. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll do that. Now, we're not in such hot shape here, I don't think. Assuming opponent can buy a province, then... Well, actually, I might be able to, I might be able to province duchy here. Although, so might they, I suppose. Oh my god, this is a lot. Never mind, I'm in great shape. GG. I'm not going to rematch this person. I had to lower my floor for the rating because it was taking so long to match, and maybe that explains why I ran into this guy who's like, how dare you think? I don't know, I'll put it back up to five. 
Let's try another match here. That one was pretty quick. Different person, right? Yes. Uh, what is a silk merchant? Two cards and a buy. When you gain or trash it, coffers and a villager. Hmm. There's pretty solid trashing. There's colonies, workers villages, village and buys. There's draw here. Yeah, this this seems great. Um Do you open trader? Feels kind of bad. Advisor storeroom is like a mild combo, I guess. And you're going to want the storeroom later anyway. I think I'll pick it up. The combo being advisor draws you cards and storeroom makes use of bad cards. Um, I guess you could take the silk merchant instead, but I want a bunch of advisors. Look at this. The combo has been realized. I don't care. Give me anything. I'll take the two estates. They're worth money. Uh, so I will discard one, two, three, four of these for cards to get right up against the shuffle and then discard the estate for coins. There I am. Five bucks for a counterfeit. Beautiful. And we're going to get to do it again next turn, but with more money. Oh, not quite, because I don't want to discard the counterfeit. It was actually bad to draw the counterfeit. I would have rather had it in here. Oh, well. Six bucks? Do I want gold? Probably not. Do I want trader? Not really. Hunting Lodge, I guess, is a combo with Storeroom. You can discard a bunch of stuff to Storeroom for coins and then Hunting Lodge for more cards. Probably better than a Hunting Party, right? Yes, I agree. Clicks are so slow these days. I mean, they're not that bad, but they're not great. Four bucks is an advisor. Five bucks? Oh, I forgot I had the, dot of the coin from this. Five bucks might be an advisor anyway. I don't know. I feel like Hunting Lodge is insane. But I, I need some money at some point. I mean, I don't need treasures, but I need a way to increase my hands. I, like, I need more storerooms, and like, advisor is kind of money, right? I'll take another counterfeit, actually. I want all these coppers out of here. Take another hunting lodge before we grab another storeroom, I think. You need a lot of hunting lodges and storerooms before you can like reliably do the thing. I don't want this hand. I mean, it could buy an advisor and trash a copper. But a, an average five-card hand can do a, at least that, right? See? This triggers a shuffle, but I think that's fine. I have storeroom to control when I get back to it. Uh... How much is in my discard? One card? 
This is drawing six. No, I don't think it matters very much. Okay, so that's cool. I don't think I need a royal galley. I don't think I need silk merchants. Could take a gold, but I'd rather have advisor and storeroom. I do probably want platinum someday. Eh, maybe not. Maybe just a bunch of more advisors, right? Trader seems horrible. Uh, I mean, I can counterfeit the counterfeit to let me get storeroom advisor, or I could just like buy an advisor. A hunting party is even better, right? I mean, a hunting lodge maybe is even better than hunting party. I don't know. I think it probably is. I'm not sure why I grabbed Hunting Party. I was just looking for ways to draw to increase my hand size. But the point is that Hunting Lodge is one of those as well. So I'm not sure what I was up to there. But it doesn't matter because I'm about to just like discard all this anyway. I don't know. I guess I took the Hunting Lodge to deny it to my opponent, but that's not a very good reason. Sorry, the hunting party. I can never keep this shit straight. Storeroom plus one of these? No. Worker's Village Silk Merchant? What is a silk merchant? Is cards and buy? Yeah. The coffers in the villager are nice. I, I can't argue with that, but I don't think it's worth actually taking the card. I don't think I'll discard anything for cards here. Just coins, please. The advisor is absolute junk right now, of course. That's okay, though. We've got the deck now, aside from the excess counterfeit. Um, 7, 10, 11, 12. I mean, that's like Hunting Lodge, I don't know. I want more Hunting Lodges, I want more storeroom. And I guess I'll take an advisor. At some point, we might start adding copper back in. Um, just for like more stuff to discard with storeroom if we're really overdrawing. I don't think we'll get there that soon. Oh. 
Is this discarding for coins? Yes, okay, good. It does set me up with a kind of bad disc, uh, draw pile. That's okay. Do I have another hunting lodge? I do, okay. All right, so I have kind of a bad deck, I guess. Because I went a little too hard into that draw. But, I mean, it's obviously a good deck that is scaling quite quickly into doing more things. 17 bucks, what is that? More of these, more of these, more of these. More of these? I don't really care for the advisors, actually. I think it was a mistake to get any of them. Well, getting, getting one early was maybe okay, but... The Hunting Lodge storeroom is the heart of the deck. And we got lucky. I, I shuffled myself a, a bad... A deck... A two or three card deck containing nothing but duds. Drew those duds and then hit the two cards I really need to get the hand going. I mean, in some sense, each hunting lodge plus storeroom is only adding, like, three coins to my payload? I don't know. Maybe it's not actually worth all, all this stuff I'm doing to get there. I don't know. Let's discard for draw here just for fun. Ugh! I don't know, maybe the advisors are good because they get you more, um... Get these back towards the bottom, I guess, except not that one. More ways to... Get large discards off of storeroom. Denies me the copper, huh? Interesting. Maybe hoping I couldn't use the storeroom? I don't know. Seems questionable. Oh, wait. I was supposed to... Well, I was supposed to play the storeroom. I thought I didn't have enough actions, but I did. I mean, I think we can still draw most of this stuff, right? There's only one card in my discard. I think this is okay. Yeah. So now I can... Discard these to draw back up. Discard these for coins. This is a little bit greedy. It should be okay. Yeah. Let's discard you. And you. Trash the counterfeit. And we're at 22. I think two colonies is probably a good idea. I don't think we should build much more than that. I 
And the whole like storeroom hunting lodge thing mostly doesn't care about green in your deck because you can discard through it with as long as you have enough storerooms. I should probably throw in another storeroom at some point. I won't be hitting 22 again, I don't think. Not this turn. It's possible, I guess. Probably should have chosen the storeroom there. Here it's a clear choice, I guess. Let's just put all those. I don't know exactly whether you should be discarding for um, draw, like to get your bad cards, your good cards back into the discard pile so you don't just have one shuffle that's all garbage. That's why I'm doing it. I don't know if it is actually like a reasonable way of thinking about things. Maybe opponent will give up at some point. I don't know if these discards even make any sense. It doesn't really matter, though. We have a couple more shuffles before the turn's over anyway. I think a better player than me would be would know like how they should be thinking about their deck. Um, contents here. Uh, do I have another storeroom? I think this might be the last one. Yeah. So we're just going to discard all this stuff. Oh, there was another. Okay. Make sure we don't have a really bad deck coming up. Grab a colony again. Two more storerooms. I remember, like, storeroom scrying pool being a big combo. Um, we don't have scrying pool in the in the core subscription um but it was it was a card with unlimited drawing potential uh, if your whole deck was actions it would just draw your whole deck as a non-terminal and you would you would store room to throw it away for coins and then draw it all again and you get these massive games where you I mean, you need i guess you get the buys from store room right so i don't know you, you could just like it wasn't that hard to build that deck if there was good trashing and the payoff was you draw your whole deck every turn reliably and you get like n squared money where n is the number of cards you have or something a lot i mean it varies with n squared anyway i don't know exactly how much but okay opponent gives up GG. So yeah, that's what the deck is supposed to do. It worked. Storeroom Hunting Lodge. Never played it before, but it seems like a pretty obvious synergy. I don't know whether the advisors and hunting party were actually any good there. I think they were fine. Um, like... The hunting party... And the advisor, each increase your hand size by one. Which means that one of the storerooms you play is going to be generating one extra coin. So I think that makes advisor and hunting party, if you assume that every hand, every time you have one of those, you will later play a storeroom. If you assume that then each of those cards is basically a peddler. Which is fine at four bucks. And probably also fine at five bucks. Um, nothing incredible, but fine. Um, I think probably more hunting lodges would have been better than more hunting than, than the hunting party. I, I don't 
really know what I was thinking when I bought one of those. I was like, oh, increase my hand size. Great. Um, I'm, you know, there is still some upside, which is, you know, the deck is not 100% reliable, right? A random heart of hand of five cards is not always going to contain a storeroom. Um, so these advisor it doesn't really help you get to the storeroom because opponent will often deny it to you. But sometimes there's like two of them, or there's one of those and a hunting lodge, and they don't really know what you need. Or, you know, even if you do get a hunting lodge, it's like, fine, now it's increased your hand size, you can keep looking, whatever. And the hunting party, if you're missing one of your key components, is really nice, right? In fact, I maybe should have considered not discarding the hunt, not playing the hunting party when I drew it, if I already had the components I needed in hand. Just treat it as another you know, victory card or something that goes back into the shuffle over and over until I have used up most of my good cards and have only bad cards left. And then Hunting Party can go looking for good cards for me. Well, it seems like that kind of thing could work, right? So maybe that's an excuse for a Hunting Party. But I still think Hunting Lodges are mostly better. Uh, did we play two games this episode? I don't really remember the other ones. Was this the one, the guy who was complaining about me being slow? I guess it must have been, right? Paul, yeah. Because there's only been one other name since then. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next.